So for anybody just tuning in, my name is Joel Duggan and this is The Citadel. It is a multiplayer server where myself and some friends do some geeky stuff in Minecraft. And the last time we were here, we did some, I guess, tweaks to the pumpkin farm here. And uh, we now have a full chest and this first slot will fill up to about 63 uh, and then it will uh, empty everything into a water stream. And the water stream is actually down here. I moved the ladder just because we're going to be working over here today. And so the dropper down here spits everything out into this water stream and it heads on down to the greenhouse. And what I wanted to do was do the same sort of idea on these pumpkin farms. But then I thought, I don't need both of these. And they're also kind of ugly and they get in the way. Uh, I find that I don't go over in this area very much because um, it's just really hard to navigate. So I thought it would be a good idea to take an opportunity to redesign these farms, maybe come up with something a little bit more compact. And uh, I have, I'm really quite excited uh, to, to do this. Now it's not my design. I think it was a cub fan design on Hermitcraft. And then I, I watched Iskal85 build it on his stream. So it's a very, very simple, uh, I shouldn't say simple. It's a pretty ingenious uh, pumpkin farm, but it's a small build. I'm only gonna be, build one module because I think that's all we need. Uh, but first things first, we are going to have to tear all of this stuff out, which means we have to find a place to put all of these melons. Uh, and we're going to craft them up, dump them in a chest, maybe in a shulker box might be the best idea, and then transport them down to uh, the greenhouse. And then once we have that done, we can come back down here and build the farm. And it's going to be another green farm. I, I thought about making it pink. Cosmic Dancer is up to shenanigans, I think. She has resubscribed for some, six months. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. So I, I think I need to, I think I need to clarify how these subs work. I think that that is your sixth month, not that you have subbed for six months ahead of time, correct? That's how that works, right? This is your, this is, that's, that's Twitch and Streamlabs saying you've been a sub for six months. Right. Anyway, uh, so first things first, we need to empty these guys. So I think the easiest thing to do here is going to be to craft everything into melons because the idea is we're going to want to trade these with the villagers and they don't take melon slices. You have to do, you have to do the full on, full on melons that and anything we left have we have left over we can uh use in uh, potions and stuff oops i need to craft uh, melons again i don't know what people would have done before this bulk crafting and and the book i'm so used to it now i only started my, playing minecraft just a little bit before they added the the book and it is so handy so so handy <laughs> so we have one one slice left over and that's about it so i'll put this back in here i think maybe up there yeah so we've got 20 that's good and now we can actually uh turn these off and the way to turn them off is easy you just turn off these levers because that's what's giving them the power collect all of our redstone back and just dismantle all of this stuff. This was the very first farm design I ever learned how to build in Minecraft. So how's everybody doing today? Having a good weekend so far? And Cosmic Dancer has confirmed in the chat that, that the Streamlabs notification is Letting me know how long she has subbed, not that she has resubbed for six months in a row. I it's confusing the way that, that that they word that. I wish that it was clearer. I find that's a little bit misleading. Uh, I mean, it's also I'm still pretty new to Twitch. I mean, I'm learning and learning quickly, but there are a number of things where just you know clarity for um, the way that some sentences are put together in the way that a lot of things, whether it's social media or whatever, I find that there's a lot of stuff out there that's really not clear. 
let's just get rid of this water. There, there we go. And if you're wondering why there's flowers on the pumpkin farms, that's that's because um, the way that Minecraft does their, uh, I guess the the algorithm that determines when and where pumpkins grow, it's actually influenced by what's next to them. And if you have plants that are non pumpkins next to the pumpkins, it actually increases their growth rate. So I'm going to use that in the new farm, and I'm going to put a potato plant in the middle of my melon farm. The other way that you could do it is if you were doing this farm design, you could um, you could technically uh, just put melons and pumpkins in the same farm, and because they're different, it will they'll affect one another positively. But if everything is a uh, a melon, then it actually affects the growth rate negatively. And I think the easiest thing to do is going to be just to expose the full waterway. We'll dig a, we'll dig a big old hole and we'll go from there. So I can grab these, put them over here for now. Uh, actually, let's put them back where I found them. Do I have room in my ender chest? I might. Alistair says he thinks he picked up a couple of melon slices as he went past. Thief! Thief! No, you can keep them. I don't care. We are going to have more melon slices than we know what to do with. And uh, these were community farms, <laughs> so it's not it's not a big deal. Uh, so I need to figure out where we're going to put this. And it does have a footprint. And I believe it is just 5 by 5 which is a really nice small farm, considering how much it's going to pump out. So I'm going to grab some green lime terracotta, I think. We should probably see if we have more, more lime terracotta kicking around. I'm gonna have to empty my inventory too. We don't have much, so let's take some. Let's take 32, and we'll dye, dye some new terracotta. I should have lime dye here. Yes, I do. Perfect. This like that. Perfect. For people that are wondering, this is a custom potato texture that I was working on. I McFly says he broke something. What did you break? That is cryptic and troubling. So we can always move the river. We can always kind of smooth this river out and kind of use this opportunity to do something a little bit cooler with the river. Uh, but if this is going to be a five by five platform, then I think the easiest thing to do would be to maybe nestle it Oh, you broke something in the spider farm. Jeez, I just fixed that. Hmm. Well, fix it. <laughs> if you broke it, <laughs> you broke it, you bought it. I fixed that thing like six or eight times now. It's all on you, man. Uh, so I'm thinking if this is going to be eight tall, I kind of want it to be in between the sugarcane and the uh, nether wart farm. So somewhere's kind of like around this area, which is unfortunately, it's going to open up like this area, but it's going to mess this up. So I might end up moving this somewhere. So because it looks like my melon farm is going to be right in the middle of this, this particular regular farm. And I guess how far away it is doesn't really matter. We can always add an extra water stream to it. Um, so let's just say One, two, three, four, five, and then two, three, four, five. So if this is going to be the new melon farm. Now, even that's a little bit too far to the left, isn't it? It's kind of silly, the thought that I put it into how these things look, but you know, when you're walking down this way, all these farms on the, on the hillside here look really neat. And I think having a small green one at the bottom here would be good, but I think I think I do want to move it over this way like that. So we're going to have to move a lot of the stuff. This is going to be a little bit tedious. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe some layers like here would make sense. 
and then we could have maybe have a path come off here go around it I like that I'm okay with knocking this back a little bit and I don't know what we could do here I guess we could have it face this way uh, and that would be that would make things a little bit easier and then we could just kind of continue this path around yeah let's try that let's see if that's going to work out so we're going to have to clean clean this out another problem i guess i should probably go get that shulker box again is my resource pack downloadable uh for the most part yes uh i cover this a lot if you go to my youtube page uh in the description of any of the citadel videos there's going to be links to uh, the Minecraft beta texture pack, as well as a little taste of germ. Uh, he actually did a stream the other day and his he was working on textures and I haven't had a chance, but I've been bugging him to do something like that so I can see him work. So uh, check out uh, Germsy Boy on YouTube as well. Uh, and then as far as the custom textures that I've got, I haven't made them available yet other than people in the cylinder, uh, on the citadel so there's the, the beetroot and the potatoes and carrots this is this is default minecraft 3.3 the beta so that's that's default and then the farmland sides are also mine i haven't made them available yet but it's not like i won't i've just been waiting for something i guess finished i've been waiting for myself to to get it to a point where i'm feeling like i'm good the other tricky part about my texture pack is that they are um a lot of times they're not my original textures they're things that i have tweaked so for example the wheat texture that you'll see bopping around on the on the set at all it's it's germsy boys wheat texture the only thing that i did to it was bring it into photoshop and i changed the color uh, because his looks great with his texture pack but a lot of the colors in germsy boys pack are muted and uh, when you only take one thing from that pack and you put it into default Minecraft, it, it stood out a little bit too much. It was it was a little bit too uh, too loud. Uh, so uh, it wasn't a big. It, it was it was something I needed to to make a switch. I don't really care about anything else in there. Grab that. Oh, I don't have anything to pick up. How can I? Let's just get. Don't need melon seeds. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I um I have distributed and linked to my texture pack on on my discord um, but that's a closed it's not an open discord um, but yeah you can absolutely have have a lot of really cool cool stuff to play with uh, on on germsy boys pack the other thing that i link to on youtube is um Exumavoid's, uh vanilla plot no what are they called vanilla tweaks the vanilla tweaks stuff is also very very cool that's like 3d ladders 3d rails uh quieter gas like they're basically just quality of life stuff that life stuff they don't really affect the game too much uh but the issue is that i've rewritten and renamed a lot of those so that they work with 1.13 and they're not mine to redistribute so i don't want to step on anybody's toes so i haven't done any of that um but yeah i mean it's, it's textures are also pretty pretty easy to do i'm still working on my on my uh diamond tools uh this is like version 1.2 or something so they're getting there uh it's not too bad i guess i guess i could just leave these in here for now uh okay i've killed the entire room for, room for spiders i just need to get red glass block oh you broke the red glass block that sucks um it sounds like alistair was in he's playing on the server he's in the chat but he's, he's playing online right now and it sounds like he broke one of the glass items that holds back the deadly cave spiders in our cave spider spawner so at least i don't have to destroy this whole thing i just have to kind of take a corner off of it and let's just say what did i say it was one two three four five six seven eight blocks high that's one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not going to be dirt. Don't worry. I just thought that I would put this little frame up here so we can get an idea. Before we build a really complicated redstone thing, it's always kind of good to get an idea about how tall it is and that kind of stuff. Yeah, see, like, I think, you know, it, it overlaps that farm and then... It will block the sugarcane, but I think when you're coming at it from main roads, you should be able to see all the farms. It shouldn't block one more than the other. Yeah. I mean, it could even be a little bit more to the to the right here, but I kind of kind of like this stuff. And I would ra I would like to keep this little farm. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just nudge it down. You know, I'll just bump it, bump it by a block or two. So that could be fun. Um, because I'd still like to have a way to get access to that. And now it's a lot easier, a lot cleaner to get to this farm. So I do want to pick up, I don't need potatoes and I don't need these melon seeds, but I want that trapdoor back. So I think, I think that's okay. I'm all right with that. So we're going to have to dig uh, a lot of these torches up. And we were going to have to figure out a way to hook it up to the waterway. But I think, I think it should be pretty straightforward. And the good news is that because it's not going to be on the river or backing onto the river, uh, like the pumpkin farm, we don't have to worry about the water invading the redstone. We can just, uh, just do our own thing, which is going to be great. So already, I'm only like, what, 10 minutes into this video, and I've got to empty my inventory here. So just bear with me. They all climbed out the top. I'm just glad I had the foresight to turn off the farm as I screamed out of the room. Yeah. Yep. Uh, when spider farms, when cave spider farms go bad, it is a bad time. No one likes it. Do not recommend. Uh, so let's just move. I don't need all this dirt, cobblestone. Fence. Uh, signs going here. Do this, this. Having your chest organized like this is always great because then you don't have to think about where you're putting stuff. You can just right click it and it just kind of pops itself into the appropriate spot. Uh, I generally use hose to draw lines between things. Chests, we're gonna need chests anyway, so I might as well leave those on me. Item frames I don't need. I don't know where I normally keep those. Oh, they're in the redstone box, that's what it is. It's funny, like after a while when you get organized, you're like, well, I'm organized, but like, where do I keep items that I don't use on a regular basis? It's a little bit crazy. So I'm curious, Alistair, how easy or difficult was it for you to break that glass block and have to fight the spiders? Because MacCast has also done that. And uh, so I'm a little concerned that uh, we need to redesign the farm so that it's not as easy for people to break the spider the glass, the, the spider farm. Let's just make, I'm pretty sure that this is lime glass. I don't think I'm gonna make a full, full stack. Maybe I'll just make a half stack. Just to make sure I have the right color. I'm pretty sure that that's what we're gonna need. Hmm. So how do we feel about this location for this farm? Do we like that? Or do we think it should be a little bit closer, a little bit closer to the, the other side here? Like what if we, what if we did move it all the way over to like, say here, just curious. I know it's not between the two farms, but I'm just wondering if it might be a better spot for it. it. Makes it look a little bit more crowded over this way. Hmm. It would open this up a lot more and we could be able to walk by and get to that farm. It does make a little bit more sense. A little bit more sense. 
maybe we just do a little bit more to this side. I feel like I want to back it up a little bit too. Yeah, you know what? I think that might be a good spot for it. And then I don't think, yeah, I don't know about backing it up. I think we might have to leave it, leave it there. I mean, we could move the river a little bit, but kind of thinking, what would it look like if it was just back one more? Whoops, completely fell off that. I was looking at the chat room. <laughs> Do that. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the location. I think that's gonna be a little bit better than this. So I didn't have to move that chest full of stuff anyway. Oh well. Maybe it would be an opportunity for us to redesign this uh, this little um, old fashioned farm as well. One, two, three, four, five. And now that we've got glass, we can actually do this. Ooh. Yeah, that's not the right color. I'm glad that I did not make an entire stack of, of lime glass. Let's go get green glass, which I think I already have some crafted up if I'm not mistaken not in here I do here though so we can switch those should probably just put an ender chest down over here but yeah definitely not definitely not the neon plus that's the same color as the sugar cane farm that's right behind us I realize this is going to be the same color as the um, as the the uh, cactus farm, but I just I do I don't like this uh, really neon glass. That's why in my creative test world I was trying to do something that was pink because you know watermelons are kind of like that red pink color when you cut them open, uh, but uh, it was not it did, that also did not look good. So that is what it's going to look like. I don't yet know how we're going to light it. Uh, I have to come up with some other ideas. It, originally it was gonna be pumpkins and then it was gonna be glowstone, but I haven't yet figured out how we're gonna make it glow at night. Cause that seems to be like a theme we've got going on. Sugarcane or melon for melons. Paranoia, I'm not sure what you mean. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Like that. So this is the structure. The outside of it is going to look like that. It's going to be filled in, but it's not very big. And I think that's the right, I think that's the right height for it. I think that kind of works for our little area. And then we can have lots of room to go over here and we have lots of room to bring a path across this way, which I think is gonna look good. So uh, the next thing we gotta do is figure out where everything is gonna connect to the waterway. The good news is that the waterway is already here, so it's not gonna be very difficult at all. How is Joel today? Joel's great. Thanks for asking. I was out running some errands earlier. I take, I generally take Saturdays off. I mean, I'll stream, but I, I don't do any illustration work uh, or anything like that. So, you know, I made my typical pancake breakfast and uh, then I had to go run some errands. So that's what I was doing. So I think the easiest thing is just gonna be to completely clear this. Like that, 
we'll just get this out of the way. Because we're going to have to have another auto dropper on this particular section. And for those of you that are wondering, I'm pretty sure that if you put water streams coming into another water stream at the number two spot, so the water's going to flow for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you put it in this last section, so the seventh section or the number two spot in terms of like the water level coming, counting back from this end, then your water stream is going to hit this and they're both going to go through and it's not going to compete with one another. So I think, think this is where we should focus on putting the output for the dropper. For that, it should go there. And I think we have to go underneath the entire farm to make this a little bit easier. I just have to be careful that I don't run into the river. And already the sand is telling me that I'm getting very close to it. Uh, now the actual farm itself is only three by three. So this is the edge here. Ah, there we go, found the river. So why don't, why don't we do terracotta this whole way down? That seems like a smart idea. So that way we know, we know what we're gonna run into. Should be good. Take her easy, Perinor. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> a river runs through it was a great movie, but it's not good for Minecraft farms. This is correct. Unless you're building a squid farm. And in that case, a river has to run through it. Oh, so there we go. So let's put, let's just put some terracotta here. I know we're, we're technically not going to be able to see the corners, but it's more for like when I'm landscaping the river later, it will be nice to know where the edges of things are. I think all of the redstone, all the stuff that I have to do um, will be inside of this box. I don't think it has to be, I don't think it will exceed the five by five. I think everything is contained under the ground within the five by five. Oh, Cosmic Dancer is going and you're staying. Cool. Thank you. Sorry. I got, I got that mixed up. Got that mixed up. I'm having one of those, one of those days where reading seems to be a challenge in the chat. You know what? I wonder if it's in dark mode. I wonder if that's the reason why I'm having trouble. Just let me change this real quick. Just switch that up. All right, get rid of this and that. So that is the stream that things have to go in. And we have to figure out where we're going to put our, our dropper as well. Because we want to still have access to the pumpkins, but we want to have the, uh, we want to have uh, the same circuit that we have on the pumpkin farm where it, it fills up to one shy of a full chest and then it sends everything off. So this should be easier. I think rather than using this ladder, I'm just going to make a dirt, a dirt staircase. I think that'll be a lot easier. Okay. So, uh, the, this is all, that's all where the pumpkins are going to be. So underneath that is hoppers. So we need to figure out where the hoppers go. And so maybe something like that. So that's the output for the hopper. And we've got our ground level. So the chest is probably gonna have to be down here. I have that chest on me? I do. So the chest is gonna be here with a hopper going into it. Like that. 